So to find Photoshop, you want to go to this little magnifying glass. It says type here to search. And you can type in Photoshop 2021. Once you see this icon, you can click on it. And Photoshop will open for you. So once you open a Photoshop, you'll notice that your canvas, you don't really see anything. Um, it says welcome. Um, these are your recent things that you have done but it doesn't take me to Photoshop yet. So what you wanna do is go to File and New. Once you open that up, you will get something like this, and this is a new document. So depending on the dimensions that is given to you, I will provide that for you, um, but you can change it here. So I like to use things in inches so that we know how to print um, perfectly into our papers. So this is where you will put in your width and your height or your inches. This is the title of your project. So we're just going to write burger. And for resolution, I always want you to keep it at 300 resolution. That is the best resolution since Photoshop is technically using all pixels. We want to get the best resolution possible. You can keep it at RGB and you can keep your background contents to white. So for this tutorial purpose for the burger, I want you to do seven inches by five and then hit create when you are finished. So you'll notice this is our canvas. So one of the most important things that you have to know in Photoshop is layers. And you'll notice that here's my layers panel. If you do not have this, you can go to Windows and check the Layers option or press F7. So once you have that, you'll notice that my background layer, it is locked. You can keep it locked so it doesn't move, it just doesn't change colors or anything. If you want to unlock it, you can just double click on this. So we're gonna start creating our burger. To create a layer, you're gonna press this button right next to the trash can in our layers panel. And if you click on this, you'll notice a new layer has been created. So we're gonna start creating our burger from a bird's eye view. So let's say I wanna create a patty first. So I am going to name my layer and you wanna get in the good habit of naming each layer because you can probably have so many different layers like um, tens and twenties and thirties of layers over here and you want to name them so that you know which layer you can edit. So here's my patty layer. I'm going to create a patty right now. You want to go to your brush tool. looks like a paintbrush onto the left side. I'm going to change the color. So this, you'll notice this red color is my foreground color and the white is my background color. Um, so if you click on your foreground color, a color picker like this will come up. And let's pick a brownish color for my patty. So once you have a color that you like, you're going to hit OK. And now I want to increase my brush size so that I can have a big patty right in the middle of my canvas. So I'm gonna go up here and you'll notice that I can increase the size of my brush by increasing it over here, or you can use your brackets. So if you, on the keyboard, there's a left bracket and a right bracket, the left bracket will make your brush smaller and the right bracket will increase your brush size. And you'll notice there's also an option for hardness. Right now it is at 100%, and that is what I want for my patty. So if I click on the hardness, there's my patty. But if I, in, if I decrease this down to 0% hardness, you'll notice I have a very soft brush. So that's not what I want. I want to increase it 100%. I want to make a patty. And there's my patty. So now I want to create a lettuce on top of my patty. 
and therefore I'm going to create another layer. So if you hover over that and press it, you will notice that another layer has come up. You want to double click, right lattice, press enter, and using my brush tool again, let's decrease my brush size, and I'm going to pick a color for my lattice. And now I am going to create my little lettuce. So now let's say I don't like my lettuce that shape at all. So what you can do is go to your eraser tool. And if you, there are more options for different tools underneath these tools. So if you click and hold, there's more options underneath that tool. So I just want to make sure that I'm in my eraser tool. And if you go and you're on your lettuce layer, you won't be able to erase your patty because they are on totally different layers. So I'm going to try to draw my lettuce again. And I am going to grab my brush tool, make it a little smaller, and create my lettuce. So in order to color fill, you want to go to your paint bucket tool and click twice to get rid of the line. And if you don't see your paint bucket tool, it's probably under your gradient tool. So click and hold and you will find your paint bucket tool. Um, but now I want to go to my brush tool. I want to get the letter black or get the color black. Click OK and create my little lines for my lettuce. So now you're going to continue to add more ingredients. I would try to add at least two or three more ingredients, and then you are going to create the burger bun. So now I'm going to create the bun. I need to add another layer, name it bun, and press enter. Go to my brush tool, pick another color, maybe a lighter color for my bun. Press OK. Increase the brush size by using one of the bracket tools. And there's my bun. And now I'm going to add some sesame seeds on top. Press OK. I'm going to decrease my brush and add some sesame seeds. And there is my burger from a bird's eye view.